Hey y'all and welcome to Watch Cheryl Scrap for the November session. And today is Sunday. Um, actually, it's not the November session. It's a special it's session for Document Your December. <laughs> and, and we're doing it on Sunday, the 14th of November. So today I'm gonna be scrapping with some Document Your December items. And um, I've got a couple of pictures here that they're gonna... so cute. Your puppy yeah, well, just has so much personality. Oh, she's a mess. She is just she's a mess. A mess. <laughs> she but she's a mess. She is your mess. Yep, she is my mess. <laughs> so, and one of these pictures is of Olivia sleeping with her, and the other Aww. one's a close up of her Aww. so and i'm gonna go with this template from my december details album and this is actually template 29 you, you don't have to use them specifically for the day um i love but, that about your template set and i love that they're not like necessarily marked in a way that you're like oh this must be christmas day this must be whatever well like on christmas day i did add in let me sit down here to the templates Ooh, doo -doo. there's a lot of alphas that i'm scrolling through <laughs> they document your december alphas yes they're fantastic there's so many and they're fantastic and there's so many that have the different um what do you call it different colors yeah so you can like mix and match so many different ones together. I had so much fun looking at them all. <laughs> and you, that was fantastic. That whole. Um, My fun little video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What was I looking for, Courtney? You were looking for your template to show us number 25. Uh, ah, yes. Thank you. You're Brain welcome. Is brain is engaging slowly okay so there are five uh, photo spots because i thought I, I would have to use this particular template probably 10 times <laughs> 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 to get all the photos i want but you know i did leave room here so if you want to add some little you know tiny two by twos you can drag those from the other sheets, but um, yeah. But you well, don't have to use that necessarily I'd, for that day. You could also just pick out like your absolute favorites. I've done this before where you pick out your absolute favorites and you scrapbook them on nice and pretty. And then you do basically like a plain and simple pocket page next to it. Kind of oh, like yeah. your MOC templates that you create where you could put 31 different pieces. You right. know, and do something like that where there's a lot more photos to capture some of the other moments through the day. But then at least you've captured like these are the favorite photos I took. So now I do want to include the clock up there. So that you can show it's a nap time. Well, it was like 730. Uh so is it nap or bedtime at 730? Like it wasn't it was a nap. But um, last year was not great, you know, so mm -hmm. we were all exhausted for a number of reasons. But anyway. Oh, I also take weird. naps at 730. Olivia's yeah. laughing in the chat, but no, I also have taken a nap from, I've taken a nap from 7 to 730 so that I can make it to bedtime around 10, 11. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because, hey, there's still time. You got to put people to bed. You got to clean up, you know, so you're ready for the next day. There's still lots to do at that point. There is lots to do. So. Hi, Farwin. So does a Sunday, does it feel a little weird to be here scrapping with everybody on a Sunday? It does. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking that it must be a different day. Like, it can't be Sunday. And then I'll be like, oh, man, shoot. I didn't. What did I not do today? But nope, it's Sunday. We're good. 
Okay. Everything and is good. These photos are actually from the second. And I do want to use my little. Ooh, which number set? Because um, there's so many numbers. amazing ones. Yep. I don't think I'm going to use the zero. I think I'm just going to use the number two. Let's drag that up here. Has anybody been in the Christmas mood to scrap Christmas yet? Like last year's Christmas or get prepped for this year's? Does anybody do a document year, December, like a daily one or a weekly one? I mean, I take pictures <laughs> every day, but I mean, that's like throughout the year. I do you that. sound like me. <laughs> like, well, I take pictures, but documenting it? Uh, hmm. I think I've done one. Olivia said she'd like to this year. The last time she did was 2013. Liz did one from last year at the speed scrap yesterday. Oh, speed scraps and stuff are always a good option to get some things like that done. Renee says the weather was cooperating today. That's good. Our weather was not. There were snowflakes in the air. I was very what? unimpressed. I don't know where they came from but they have luckily gone back to wherever they came from. i very unimpressed. Yeah, snowflakes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Renee added a not. <laughs> In other words, the weather was not cooperating. She says she's done a DYD four years, even though she doesn't celebrate the holidays. That's awesome. I bet that's really fun to have like those, the December's just scrapped and having everything that happens because there is a lot that happens outside of the holidays. It is too early for snow. Our grass wasn't covered. It was melting before it hit the ground, but there were these big, huge snowflakes in the air. I was unimpressed. <laughs> Renee says she just documents her normal days. I mean, I guess I could say that because I do, I've done, uh, my project life for the last couple of years, last two years, three years. So I've ended up with just normal December documenting. And it, you know, ends up being a little more Christmassy. Okay, I'm being quiet right now because I needed to not have all those alphas in there <laughs> for the moment. It was making it difficult to scrap. And All the alphas. Because I just put, you know, everything in. Cards, elements, tags, word trips. Okay, we're good with that. <laughs> so you're <laughs> sorting your collection now. Figure out what you got. Well, I had the ACDC. I just added a tag really quick mm -hmm. to, um, I'll show you all in just a second once I get through adding everything here. Thank you. And these can go in there too. So I wasn't paying attention, but I'm sure you did. Did you just pull the number two, the whole PSD file over so that you can adjust it later? Yeah, so I copied it so it's a separate file and then I just drug the layers onto the canvas and then I'll, I may end up having to change the papers. So I can close yeah. that. But I shouldn't say I wasn't paying attention. It's I wasn't paying attention to your screen because I was reading the chat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have a DYD 2021, and when you click on that, it shows you everything that is being, you know, that was released this year. But then there's this like humongous section of just alpha after alpha, <laughs> which is fantastic. I love it. But I was like, I want to see no alphas and so <laughs> now when i go through here there should just be numbers and yeah well the alphas are fabulous and then like every designer seems to have done like two or three colors of them too yeah so there's a lot of alphas and a lot of them are very um versatile too yeah i mean and but, it's it's great they're i mean the colors are great for any time of year Mm -hmm. uh, I just found them very <laughs> overwhelming. <Right? Yeah. laughs> um, I totally get it. I Renee did her cover for 2021. Yay! 
I didn't mean to interrupt you, Cheryl. Go ahead. I don't know. I'm going to start with this plaid, I think, and the number. Maybe, I don't know. Let's see what this <laughs> like. I like that. I'm going to start with this. We'll see if I change it later. We'll see. We'll see. Mm. Still not what I'm wanting. Mm. Decisions, decisions. I usually don't dither. No, you don't. Renee wants to know what font those numbers are. That is Acer. A-C-E-R. It's not a free font. I, but... My assumption was it wasn't a free font because yeah. typically if it's one that's allowed for commercial use, it's definitely not a free font. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. So <laughs> I do like that you clarified for us though. Yeah. That way we know. I think I'm gonna go with those little dots. They're so happy. Oh my gosh. Look at this paper though. Just perfect for a me. cute. I love oh. that brick wallpaper. Oh, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, have to save that. I, I could have made a video that. and spent like an hour just talking about all the amazing papers. So I know. I love that video. I'm just like, like this. there were so many fabulous papers and I adored them all. Yep. She's like, I did it. I adored them. I did. I adored them. One of the funniest things about going through these pictures, because I'm going through and like trying to digitalize, digitalize, digitize, digital, digital tie, whatever, trying to make them all digital. Right. And I find like random photos. Like I have this habit of taking a picture on road trips of my husband driving because he's almost always the driver. It's just the way we do things. And I found a picture that his mom took of her husband driving. <laughs> oh. And, um, like, his dad died when he was 60. So it's, you know, she ha he hasn't, he doesn't have as many connections that way. But so it's right. so funny to see, like, these random connections. Like, oh, look, here's your dad driving a car, just like I take pictures of you driving a car. <laughs> So it's fun little moments like that that just make photos so much fun to see. I'm just, Kim always takes this photo of her husband driving too. <laughs> I like, love oh. it. It's we fun. Don't... Like, I don't know. There's so many cute road trip kits too. So I'm always like, well, I might like this one for a road trip. So I better have a photo. He likes to joke that it's not a road trip until I've taken his photo. <laughs> so I'm like, at least he's a good sport. Yes. But I keep finding all of these photos that, like, even my my husband didn't know really existed. He's like, oh, that's a cool photo. Where'd you find that? I'm like, oh, in your mom's stash. It's like a digital stash, only it's all photos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so okay. I will say this. If you were of the age that you're like, oh, I need to start thinking about passing photos on, please label, 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 label. <laughs> yeah, because people are not going to know. No. Well, and other people are. if you have memory loss issues at all, it makes it a lot harder to remember who that person in the photo is. And her three boys look so alike for a short amount of time that you're trying to figure out, well, what year is this based on their clothes? Because it could be any of the three of them. Luckily, it's only for like their toddler years. Once they get past that, they tend to not look the same anymore. Yeah. But up until that point, it's like, well, this could be any of the three of them. <laughs> so label photos, prepare them to be passed on. Don't leave them to somebody else to decide what might be an important photo and what is probably not. Kim took a photo of her son-in-law in the hospital, told him she'd be making a page or two 
but wouldn't make a calendar page. I think that's fair though. I mean, because it is a big portion of life and sometimes those are the things that that you do. Like, um, I guess my would have been father-in-law. I actually never met him because he died before I met my husband, but he, um, they have photos of him in, he became quadriplegic. So they have photos of him in the wheelchair. They have photos of him at the hospital and stuff. And those are treasured memories, especially now to have. So I think it's, it's good because it's a poor, it becomes a part of life. Like for your son-in-law, this is a part of life. It may not be the fun, cheery rainbow part, but it's still, it's been a large part of his November. So I think that's good that you have some photos. And I think, Oh, go ahead. I, I mean, I think like this isn't Christmas necessarily. There's no presents or cookies or, you know, there's not, I'm mm -hmm. not documenting a movie. It's just a, you know, part of life. And yeah. I think, I think that's, um, I mean, I think Allie Edwards, when she talks about that, she talks about story and how all these little small details are the story that we're telling of our lives. It's not just that one day um, holiday or, um, you know, gathering with family or whatever. It's what yeah. you do every single day. And a lot of people do have activities every day. I know a lot of people with small children do. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's all I had to say. I like it though. That's good. <laughs> Liz said she tried the clothes identification bit once, her son, many years ago, but he was wearing the same shirt in more than one year. <laughs> it's usually the hair. Like, my mother in law has changed her hairstyle a lot over the years. And so a lot of times, and the boys are, like four years apart and two years apart or something. So they're just far enough apart that sometimes you can look at the hair and go, oh, that was her 70s hair. That is her the late 70s hair. That is her yeah. mid 70s, you know? So it's not always the clothes, but it's, it can be other things in the picture. Renee said she found a bunch of photos from her dad's Navy days when she cleaned out the basement. She said it was sad because by the time she found him, he was gone. Mm -hmm. She pulled out the ones she knew were him and had to pitch the rest. Yeah, we have um, we have a couple of soldiers, and she's not positive if it's her dad or one of the people with his dad. So we're trying to figure out somebody else who might know. But Kim says she um, has a picture of her son-in-law a few days after the stroke, and when he was able to smile again. And she goes, "We can look back and see how much he's improved too, and that's good too." Yeah, yeah. those records. Renee says she has a couple of photos of her mom with the oxygen tube in her nose. Yeah, I mean, that's part of life. And sometimes that's how we remember people. You know, for better or worse, it may be that we remember them. Or our kids might remember them a certain way because they never yeah. really knew them the other way. But I will tell you, some of the fun parts is seeing all the like 60s beehive hairs and the dresses <laughs> and seeing some of these yes. where I'm like, oh my gosh, that bride owes her bridesmaid big for making them wear those dresses. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> some of those are quite interesting. And it's fun to see too how they've been developed like once upon a time, they used to give out a wallet photo along with an album photo. And that's before I was ever printing that they stopped doing that, or at least none of the printers I went to did that. So that's kind of cool to see too. And then sometimes they used to label them on the bottom and the size of the like early Polaroids, cause she's had a lot of different cameras. So some of the Polaroids from early time were like super thick. Yeah. So it's crazy to just see the different developing styles too. Renee says she had to ID the year on a Christmas photo once and did it by her hairstyle. Oh, wait, <laughs> she yeah. narrowed it down to a couple of years, like a small period because uh, there weren't a lot of photos in that era. Yes, I love the ones that have the developed date on the white edge because that yeah. helps narrow it down so much. 1958 was a good year for that. 
but then I have a ton that have the white edge, but no developed state, unfortunately. I, you know, I feel incredibly blessed because one thing, um, one thing my mother-in-law did, and I don't, I don't know why at the time, like, I don't know if it's something, and I should ask her and I just haven't asked her yet. Um, but like, she's taken a ton of photos. So there are tons and tons and tons of photos. And I'm super appreciative of that because I know a lot of people don't necessarily have a lot of photos yeah. from that time, but it was something that they put, they liked, so they put a premium on it. So there's lots of photos and some of them are random photos and you're looking at them going, okay, that's kind of fun. And then there's like the random photos where they've cut somebody out of this piece of it. <laughs> <laughs> you're like who I was wonder that what the story was there yeah <laughs> someone was pushed out from the family for a while yeah or they've cut themselves out of the photo and kept just the piece that they were in yeah because eyes could have been closed or you know yeah any number of things. that's true there's lots of reasons but that's one of the reasons that's one of the ones that cracks me up is because it's like Oh, look, <laughs> they cut out this piece only. So there's only the very edge of the person <laughs> that I know. <laughs> only the very edge. Only the very edge. Oh, Renee says the ones 50s and early 60s for her have the developed state on the side. I don't know if I've run into any in the 60s necessarily, but I definitely have. I just remember seeing the 58, probably some of the 59s too. But it does make it interesting and it makes me appreciate being a scrapbooker even more because most of my photos are very nicely organized <laughs> and have words that say what is going on in them and why this photo was important or why this photo was funny or right. whatever. So that makes it fun. Oh, these are fun. Ooh, yes. These little bokeh. Yes. Those are adorable. I love. I love, I love, I love. I love all the fun little paints. Yes. This is like fantastic. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I need some more over here. Oh, cute. It's just got like that gentle glow, you know? Mm -hmm. I think that would be so fun with like Christmas lights on a background paper. Yes. So. Yes. Yeah. Renee likes knowing the dates and that's why she downloads her photos into folder by date directly from the camera. Yeah, I like to download my photos. Well, Dropbox keeps the date too because my phone just labels everything as the date of the photo. And I appreciate that because it doesn't change. But yeah, it's annoying when I find photos where Sorry. the date has changed. If you can hear my dog. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> my husband just got home from his mom's. So she's like having a fit. She was very excited when me and the kids came home earlier. She was like, oh my God, you're home. You've been gone for two hours. You left me. Okay, so something I had never seen before, and I thought this was like the strangest thing, and I didn't know they ever did this, but um, a social security card, like the number and the card itself, that were 100% metal. Like huh. think dog tag metal. And I was like, I'd never seen that. Here's the problem. It's really hard to destroy. But yeah. I didn't know if anybody else had seen that. It's like, that is so weird. Why would they do that? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that. So I had it. It was new to me. Through a lot of heritage photos. But... Yeah, I'd never seen that. But I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Liz says that bridge changes the date when you work with a photo. Mm. Um, I've never seen it. I've seen it change the modified date, but I've never seen it change the created date. 
Oh, Renee knew that. Liz had never seen one that was metal. Renee says she has a very early credit card that was her grandma's too, and it was metal. That I knew because it used to be, um, why did I know that? Because somebody was telling me about how they used to clink. Like they'd have those trays that they would bring for your metal with, and they were metal so that they would clink when you put it in. Almost like a, look, I've got a credit card, clink. <laughs> clink. Clink. Because you know that metal on metal makes that clink sound. So, but yeah, I did not know it about social security cards. I'm glad somebody else saw it too. It was for Lazarus. Is that the brands that did it? Like, I, I don't remember brand. I just remember that I had seen before. Okay. This little Santa right here is the cutest little thing ever. He's got to go on my page. Is this the one with the little ruddy cheeks? Yes. From a leaf? Yes. He's so he's cute. So cute. He's adorable. There he goes. He's going to go there right underneath that little heart. I'm going to move the heart over just a hair, though. Yes. See, Kim? That's exactly the problem. She had a metal credit card a few years ago, like a corporate card or something. But when it was compromised and they sent us a new one, we couldn't just cut it up and throw it away. They had to send a special envelope to mail it back to them. Oh. Yeah. Well. Wow. Yeah. See, and that's the problem with the Social Security card is it's like, well, how do we destroy it? You know? Right. <laughs> one thing. I like to do, and I don't know if the rest of you are like this, but with all these little date pieces, I like to put more than one. Mm -hmm. Is it just me that does that? I've done more than one before. So I've got the number two. I've got a stamp that says December 2nd. I've got a flag that says what day it was because it was in the middle of the week. And um, then another little tag here. It's just I don't know. I feel like well, it's a bunch. Since one specifies that it's December, and then one specifies that it's Wednesday. Yeah, you know. I think okay. that that's I feel justified too. now. Yeah. I feel justified. Okay. Oh, look at this little tag. It's gonna go perfect right there. <laughs> You're having way too much fun with this collection. That's it. I'm so I'm very <laughs> pleased. I'm very <laughs> pleased. Oh, it oh is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at these little acrylic. Little Olivia says pocket. she loves the string of bows. Isn't that cute? That's from NBK. And then I'm going to throw this on the background. That is so cute. The little shaker pocket. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't know where to start looking for when the date gets changed, but maybe check your settings and see if you have something set up, Liz, that says to change the date to whatever you're saving it as, like save it as a new date. I mean, I guess that could be. I don't know. I don't use Bridge enough to know. I haven't been using it. So have you been back to ACDC? Or is that just for this? Well, I went to Lightroom. Um, oh, that's right. I forgot you went to Lightroom. And I mean, I actively forgot. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, I, I, I can't really scrap from it because I can't drag out from it unless oh I haven't checked since they've done the update. I'm like, you know, fingers crossed that maybe they changed something. I and, doubt it. Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. 
there's still somebody working on that bug that is having a very hard time narrowing it down and just can't seem to figure out. And it's funny because if you read the way that they wrote, yes, PSCC did just get updated and they've been pushing out a couple of little updates. And I don't know what else they're supposed to fix, but I do know that some of those little updates are supposed to um, fix the problem that Cheryl and I were having where you would have it sticky, the mouse sticky. Yeah. Like, I don't know how else to, to explain that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to explain it either. But they keep saying, okay, we pushed a little update, now try. We pushed a little update, now try. And, and the one guy's like, I can't even replicate it anymore, like at Adobe. And I'm like, okay. He's like, can you tell us exactly how it's working? Like how many layers do you have and all this jazz? And I'm like, oh, you guys are a mess. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to make a video for them. Do it. Be like, hey, how about, how about now? Do you yeah. see what it's doing now? <laughs> well, and it's weird because mine isn't doing it like it was. So I'm like, I don't know if maybe there were two different problems and they just didn't know it. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, and we were all identifying it as the same problem, even though it technically wasn't. Because I haven't had it do that sticky thing for me since the most recent update that they pushed. So I'm like, I don't know. But you'd said it was still happening to you. So I don't know if it's yeah. now a Windows 11 issue instead of a Windows 10 issue. I don't know. Yeah, I'm getting used to Windows 11, but it's different. Yeah. It's, it's different. a different thing. It's a different thing. <laughs> Liz has been playing, paying for CC for a year now, but ha tried it once and can't get out of her comfort zone, so she hasn't been using it. Well, then I hope you remember to cancel, because you don't want to pay for subscriptions you're not using. Oh, that's so cute on there. Little tag. <laughs> it's all so cute on there. Oh, if y'all haven't watched the video showing all the little pieces... Hey, I do not show all of them. I could not possibly show all of them. But but look look at the little nutcracker. He's so I cute. I love those nutcrackers. So my mom has a nutcracker collection, and I know that's part of really what drew me to those little nutcrackers. But I was like, oh, and I took Matthew to the Nutcracker Ballet, and I don't think I've scrapped that yet. So I'm like, no, this one's crossed eyed. Yes, yes. Oh, they're so cute. Why does that make it even more adorable? I don't know, but it does. That's all I know, is it does. Oh, this page is just making me happy. What are you using, Liz, instead of CC? What's funny is I looked up at the chat and she had written no clue to a different response. <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, you have no clue what you're using? And then it dawned on me, I was like, no, wait, I looked up too wait. high. <laughs> She's like, I'm not answering that question. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, she's using PSC5. So it's 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 different. I'm sure. I never used five, so um Tim says that's the best feeling when you scrapbook and it makes you happy. I agree. It is. She talked to him a few reason. months ago, and they said she had three free months. <laughs> Great. She is using PSE as an elephant? No, PSE, PSC5. Okay, gotcha. So as in pre-6. Gotcha. I'm like, pre-6? I don't know how else to say that. <laughs> pre-6. Pre-6, pre-5. Well, because I'm used to, like, I think it's Karen as one of the polys that still uses five or six. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. I'm like, I'm pretty sure Karen does. And so I'm not, I'm, I'm not as used to people using five. So it threw me off a little. I was like, oh, five. Renee's just glad her computer's back to normal. Yay! Yeah. There has been, like, a plethora of computer issues lately. Right. Mary. I appreciate it from the perspective of I always go in and check my backup when I see everybody going, oh, I'm having computer issues. It's like, oh, let me go check my backup. <laughs> what was wrong with it, Renee? 
Oh, that's right. It was putting in a temp profile. So did it just cure itself or did your computer guy fix it for you? I know we've had a couple polys whose computers have just flat out crashed on them. So they're having to try and get new ones. And like that is just not fun. Okay, I like this and this really has nothing to do necessarily with the layout, but it says how many more sleeps, like how many Aww. more sleeps, but since they're sleeping, I thought. I think it works you. just fine. And I think I want to add my final thing is I, I really, you know how you go through stages and you're like, okay, I want to have this on my page all the time. Olivia and I were discussing this. Yes. Like I what have, is your current finishing touch obsession? It, it is, I like to have something on the edge. I like to have, I didn't always do that either. I like to have something matted. Does mm -hmm. that make any sense? Yeah, totally so makes like, sense. So I like to have, you know. Yep. I, I've, I've been in a phase where I do like that double mat like you do. Yeah. I've also been in a phase where I was like inking the edges of photos and stuff. Yep. And then I've been in a phase where it's paint. There has to be some sort of paint on the background. <laughs> yeah, so I don't I know what my current phase here. is. I'd have to go look at my photos and see. <laughs> I want to make that a little bit bigger. Let's see. Let's see. Melinda says her hard drive freaked out, deleted everything she downloaded or changed from September 30th on. She lost so many things. That's just not right, you know? So it's I am not... sorry you are still waiting for TLP customer service. Our main customer service person has had some family things happening that have pulled her attention away at the moment so she's trying to work through them as fast as possible but i do know that there have been other things going on right now that have been much i don't want to say much more important because that sounds like i'm i'm minimizing but yeah yeah <laughs> i'm like they they've been really important issues that had to be taken care of. So I am very sorry that you're still waiting on TLP customer service. They are normally super fabulous and get back to you fairly quickly. Um, Who's the one having the problem? Melinda. Melinda. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I think we can draw that attention yeah. for you. So yeah. yeah, Renee, it's the same thing. I am so, I like, I'm not, I don't feel at liberty to share anything because that's not my spot and that's not my space. But I just, I, that is why our customer service is running a little slow right now is our main person has had some very major family things to take care of. Yeah. So I am sorry that you were waiting. It, it is, they usually are pretty quick, but that is why, that is why it's slow. And yeah, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. We prefer that doesn't happen, but unfortunately life does Life does kind of step in sometimes and we forget. It kind of kicks us in the teeth, actually. It really what does. what I was going to say. Um, yeah. You know, I had last year was just. Yeah. It, and it's not until this year that I really, like, when I started designing for Document Year December this year and my album, and I was like, what did I do last year? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like. I couldn't, I, I think I barely eked out a four pack of templates. I couldn't bring myself to get anything else done. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So this year, in contrast, feels so much better. <laughs> yeah. And that's so true. Like when it seems like when it rains, it pours and oh. it just messes up so much stuff. And, but at the same time, ooh, we were talking about this at lunch today, but I get so frustrated now. And I've always been the person that would go out of my way to be nice, like mm -hmm. silly things that aren't silly to me. But like when I go to a drive-thru or whatever, I'll be like, hey, how are you? 
Yeah. And then I'll say, thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Or if I'm talking on the phone, I do that. But then I, I lost my temper and with a customer service with at the pharmacy and I had to call him back and apologize. <laughs> I mean, I didn't curse at him or anything. I just wasn't very nice. Yeah. And I was like, poor girl doesn't deserve that. But I'm, I'm like ready for some kind of intervention. <laughs> so, I think I sometimes we get like, I know for me, I'm, I'm also, I, I don't tend to get short with people very often until you really tick me off. But I find that it's like everywhere you go, everybody is short staffed. So you're waiting so much longer. So unfortunately, by the time I get to like some of the last places, my patience is gone and I'm done. Right. And it's like, it's not your fault. And I apologize. And I understand everybody's short staffed right now, but I'm sorry. you just happened to be the last place. And I'm just frustrated <laughs> with the same situation. And I think sometimes that can cause, cause us to get frustrated. Yeah. Um, so Lisa, I want, or Liz, I wanted to ask you, you said you have an add-on that lets you make picture pages and you print out sheets in four by fours and cut them up. Is that like, because Lightroom will do that for you. And I know Lightroom is part of CC. I know you can make, mm -hmm. um, what do they call them? Is it press prints? No. Um, or maybe it is press prints. I don't Do you remember. know what I'm talking about, Cheryl? Let me open it up. Um, I, I, that sounds familiar, but, but I've never. I just can't really remember if that's it. the name that they use or not. <laughs> Melinda says 2020 was so long and 2021 has been a big blur. Right. And then Liz it, says we are all struggling. And I think that's true. And I think that can be a problem for all of us. Kim says she keeps hoping that we'll get the roaring 20s again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, debauchery. There we go. That's the name. Contact sheets. Contact sheets. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Olivia. <laughs> I don't know 100%. I know you can pick different sizes. I just don't know if they're pre programmed in Lightroom or if you can pick other sizes. Renee's hoping to get her new battery for her car tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh. Can I tell you such, okay. I'm going to tell you a really super happy story because, you know, so the short staff is everywhere and it's driving people nuts. So my son's book fair, instead of having like Scholastic come in, they had the local downtown bookstore do it, which Aww. I total win-win for everybody involved. We were supporting local and all of that. And right. so, um, there was a book he wanted and another kid had put it on hold and she said, oh, well, we have more at the store. And then she's like, okay, wait, I don't see any more at the store. So let me not have you pay for it until we figure out where they are. She's like, we should have more at the store though. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And so then I just went online and ordered it from the store because they have an online website so that when they did get it in, they could let me know and I could go pick it up so he would have it. So they call me on Friday to tell me that they have this book and would they like me to deliver it to my son today at school before, you know, before he goes home for the day. I was like, um, uh, yes. Yeah. Please <laughs> do. It's so bad that they hadn't that you hadn't got found it or gotten it in until Friday. And she's like, and the book fair ended on Friday. She's like, but we'll take that down. Do you want us to just take that to the school for you? The poor store had no power because they're building construction nearby and they managed to kick out their power without notifying them ahead of time. But they oh, still made the effort and took so my son got a book delivery right at school. And I'm like, okay. That would never happen with something like Amazon or whatever. I'm right. like, that is that is a local store. So is it? So that's my sweet note of a happy moment to. <laughs> to share. Share. I'll share another happy moment. Um, when <laughs> I've been in here looking at stuff, but <laughs> I kind of, you know, I have stuff for pandemic, COVID nineteen, but I also have one <laughs> tag called. Lizard in my house, all in caps, <laughs> with an exclamation point. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up so bad, but I love it. last year, a lizard, and I don't have the rest of them tagged yet, but um, yeah, he was in my house. Look at him, evil little <laughs> thing. He was in there, and yeah, 
so then they started getting on the car and I can't remember what date that was last year but it was very... yeah I remember the lizard on the car and you were yeah, like nope happened. nope we're not doing this again yeah <laughs> so I was like I called Jay like you have to come home and remove this lizard like <laughs> we're like watching you know but yeah yeah kind of amusing what I thought last year was important and apparently lizard in my house all four photos got its own tag hey that is important that is I definitely one of those moments that you remember yeah i still haven't scrapped it yet so but yeah so that was funny i like this story <laughs> kim said she read on facebook you should ask your cashier at the grocery store what their favorite candy bar is and buy it for them she goes i thought ah oh. then i remember i usually order online so the few things i go in i'm only getting a couple things and use self-checkout so I guess I can buy myself a candy bar. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I deserve it. I deserve my own candy bar. And Melinda says her son works at Walmart's and the shelves have been half, half empty all of the time for months. But the back room is full of pallets of new deliveries. They just don't have enough people to get them out on the shelves. Oh, like, my oh. goodness. That's got to be frustrating, too, because you have a customer who's like, well, where's this? And you're like, oh, I've got some in the back, but nobody to put it out here. Yeah. No cats. <laughs> you don't have a tag for cats. Don't don't you give your pets um like people yeah. tags? Oh yeah, they have their we have pets. I, it, pets. I do too. We have um you know other people's dogs <laughs> that don't even belong to me <laughs> or tagged. So um if so it makes like, you feel better, so, so have I. That like our neighbor's cat is mm -hmm. even tagged. <laughs> so. Yeah, my friend's dog has a tag. So um, yeah, yeah, you're not the only one who who has other people's pets with their own tag. <laughs> yeah, this is my mom's. Well, let me show you my mom's old dog, the one that passed away. Um, in 2019. So. Um, let's get a happy picture of him. Liz, it totally feels like they've reorganized your Walmart. Like, cause they've reorganized parts of mine too. And I always think to myself, is this to try and get me to do pickup because I can't find anything now when I come in? <laughs> right. Like, are okay. you just trying to make me do pickup? So this is Bubba and he was big, but now mom has Hank the tank. <laughs> Do you see the size of that dog's head? Well, and it should tell you something when his name is Hank the Tank. <laughs> well, that's what I call him. But look at his lip. Look at that lip. He he pouts. Aww. But I it's love like it. it's like a continual pout. And then he thinks he's like the size of Piper and he gets up in the chair with my mom <laughs> with his ball. And then he'll drop it and just stare at it. He's I quite love amazing. It. Yep. So, but my mom is, look at her face. She is beyond ecstatic. I love this it. Dog. She's super happy. And so we have, of course, Holly Bell. I have 5,000 pictures of her. <laughs> and Literally Piper, or... <laughs> Literally, it says 5,139. Just checking. And that's what I've tagged. And then Piper, I think there are a bunch I haven't tagged, but we've only had her a year, but she has 518. Renee yeah. says that dog is cute, but way too big for me. Melinda says he looks so sweet. Yeah. And then my dad, my dad's new dog is big as well. But that was when she was a puppy. Don't tell me. Yeah. She was so, so cute. So, Melinda, that's exactly why I tag things like that. She says that she hasn't tagged in Lightroom for a couple of years since so she doesn't use that, but for her DSLR. But she tagged everything and everyone because you never know when you might want to find it. Yeah. Also, I found you never know. Like, sometimes I'll just tag the family. Like, I have a, like, the, the Smith family because I don't need to tag each individual person. 
but that's kind of handy too when people die. <laughs> yes. I'm so it morbid. No. You know, when people die, it's handy to know that your photos of them are already. <laughs> well, like last year, that was a big thing for us. And I could go through and see the pictures that I had of Teresa and, and I was able to send them and have them printed and it was very quick and easy and yeah. actually was much less stressful. I was so glad that I had done that. But, yeah, well, and then it's so easy because then you can focus on what you would rather be focusing on, right. you know, your family and, you know, grieving with them and such and not worried about do I have enough photos for the video? Where's that photo I have that's so cute with her with her grandkids or, right. you know, because there's always that one photo that you're like, oh, where is that photo? And then it's like, oh, it's right here. Perfect. It's all ready to go. Piper is more my size. <laughs> Peyton is a little bigger, but only nine pounds. Yeah, Piper. And she's. That's Renee. Renee likes smaller dogs. She's a mess. My dog thinks he's a lap dog. He's a Border Collie Newfoundland mix, if anybody knows, and he weighs like 90 pounds, and that's like perfectly fit for him. <laughs> the doctor's like, well, if he gets over 100, we need to look at it. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so he's fine at 90 pounds, but mm -hmm. he still thinks he's a lap dog and will try and climb on your lap on the couch, just like that one with your mom. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, he's a funny little pup. Look at her. Aww. Like, I'm having a photo shoot, Mom. <laughs> Kim says, my golden retrievers are lap dogs. What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they just get into our heart. Yep. Our yep. border collie was a lap dog. He used to crawl up on our laps all the time. This one weighs an extra 20 pounds, so he kind of is a little big for most of our laps. Okay, I have a tag called animals too. Oh, and look, Olivia, Animal Crossing. <laughs> <For her. laughs> but what animals? I'm like, what animals? Oh, this like was ducks weird. and geese and stuff. We were coming home from, I was coming home from picking up Daniel when he was in middle school, and these ducks were up on the power line. Mm -hmm. I was like, what are they doing up there? So, I've never seen ducks up there. We used to have ducks as pets. Well, we lived on a farm, but we had ducks that were kind of our pets and we had a little duck pond and they used to jump on the power lines all the time and swing on them. Like, especially if it was windy, they'd go yeah. up and you'd just sit there and watch them like swing, 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 fall off. <laughs> well, here's one. This is a squirrel at the bird feeder. He somehow managed to get himself up there outside the kitchen window. Love it. And then this is the owl in our backyard. Aww. Oh, yeah, Renee, that's always been our concern with our dog is knocking down somebody because he is big. That's why we try and encourage him not to be too much of a lap dog so that he doesn't, you know, try and hurt somebody. Because <laughs> that, that can be a problem. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, these are all the ducks when I go for my pain management. They have this pond Duck out pond. in front of the, <clears throat> but these ducks were like cracking me up because they were like, I guess they thought I had a piece of bread, my phone. And I was like, <laughs> y'all need to get on back. Look at them. Hey, that phone. Them. It looks kid. like They're bread. Like, hey, hey, what you got? What you got? I love this. I think I got one close up, that one right there. <laughs> so um, in case you were wondering, Melinda says that that looks like a barred owl and they are so gorgeous. Oh. I didn't know it had a name, but it's got a name. Renee wants to know if you want the chickmunk that lives under her patio too. No. <laughs> no actually, the owl has been um, keeping our squirrel population. There's a set, a set of them, there's two. So, um, but and we're also a little scared about letting Piper out. So if we hear the owl out there, we're always like, Piper! <laughs> As we say, Piper is a uh, prey. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, well, 
we what we went down the rabbit hole which is easy yes, to do when i'm looking at pictures i can't help it i just get lost sometimes um but i think we have a prize do we have something today oh we do do you want to stop the recording yes i will go ahead and stop it stop your recording so long